guilty on all counts. That's the verdict for a Springfield woman who killed her husband in a gruesome murder, dismembering him and dumping his torso in a rural county field. ABC News Channel 20's Liz Foster has been at the trial start to finish. She's joining us live now at the Sangamon County Courthouse with the details. Liz. After more than seven hours of deliberating here on the seventh floor of the Sangamon County Courthouse, the jury returned a guilty verdict for Watasha Denton McCaster. We talked to family members of the victim, Norman McCaster, immediately following the verdict. They were emotional, happy with the verdict, and to get some closure, but they said it will not bring their loved one back. 24-year-old Denton McCaster has now been convicted with seven criminal counts, including first-degree murder, dismembering a body, concealing a homicide, and obstructing justice. Earlier today, in closing arguments, prosecutors painted a picture of Denton McCaster unhappy in her marriage, citing her journal entries. They said it's evident she had a plan to kill her husband and broke down a timeline from Google searches on her laptop about how to kill and get away with it to putting eye drops in his drinks to poison him, to buying supplies to carry out the plan that investigators later found evidence of in her trash, to borrowing a gun and shooting him in the head and dumping his body parts. Joining us now live is Sangamon County State's Attorney John Milheiser. Mr. Milheiser, prosecution called 26 witnesses over four days of testimony. The defense consistently and repeatedly tried to hammer away at reasonable doubt. Overall, how, what do you think it was that got a, ju a guilty conviction in this case? Well, we're very satisfied with the verdict, and there was a lot of evidence in this case. It was an excellent investigation by the Sangamon County Sheriff's Department, uh, and we were able to, with working with the Sheriff's Department, paint this picture of the defendant, and make sure she is held accountable for her actions. This was a horrific crime, and again, an excellent investigation by the detectives from the same County Sheriff's Department. And you mentioned that throughout the course of the entire investigation, not just this trial, mm -hmm. you became close with Norman McCaster's family. Um, we spoke to them a little bit, but after spending so much time with them, how good does it feel as a prosecutor to get a guilty conviction for that family and some justice? Well, it's bittersweet. Uh, it is a, it's a measure of justice. It uh, can bring some closure. But again, nothing we do can bring Norman McCaster back. And as evident from the trial and the, and the, the evidence that came out, I mean, Norman McCaster was a great guy. There was testimony that he was a soldier's soldier, a great guy. Nobody had a bad word to say about him. And this was a horrific crime committed against him by his wife. Sangamon County State Attorney John Millheiser, thanks so much for staying up late with us. Thank you. Den McCaster never once showed any emotion at all during all five days of trial, nor when the judge returned the verdict. Uh, the judge did revoke her bond, and we do think it's important to mention defense attorney Lindsay Evans does plan to file a motion for a new trial. Now, we mentioned that we talked to Norman McCaster's family members immediately following that verdict tonight. We're going to hear what they had to say and get their reaction to the verdict tomorrow. For now, we're live inside the Sangamon County Courthouse. I'm Liz Foster with ABC News Channel 20. All right, Liz, much more to come. Thank you. Watasha Denton McCaster's sentencing date is set for June 25th, where she then faces at least 60 years in prison.